pink news. Car Park allocates special diversity spaces for alphabet people and migrant drivers. What? What the fuck? We finally arrived. All of the problems in the world are solved. We can take time to devote parking spaces to people based on the other people they want to kiss or what country they come from. Great. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm the Anti-Woke Warrior. I challenge all things woke. Don't care what it is. I do want to give a shout out to Terrence Pop and Blake for having me on their show earlier this week. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. And if you saw that, then you saw me being more of my authentic self, which uh, I'm going to try to bring more to this channel now that I, s I saw the results of doing that. I, I've i been a little bit, um, I guess, reserved when I, when I make my videos because, one, I don't know what YouTube is going to flag and say, hey, you did something wrong, and then I get my video taken down. And two, I don't know what you guys want. Most of the time, I don't get any feedback, but uh, the negative feedback I get uh, is like, oh, it's too, you're too wordy. Well, you know, maybe tell me what you want to see in videos, what you want to hear in videos. Some, sometimes people send me video ideas, and sometimes they send me video ideas I've, I've already covered, but that's okay. <laughs> At least you're watching, and I do appreciate everybody being here. So now let's get into this, uh, this topic here. This is in Germany. So the car park in Germany has unveiled special diversity spaces, which appear to be reserved for alphabet people and migrant drivers. Hanauer Parkhaus, GmbH, HPG, whatever those initials stand for, I don't know, created three dedicated spots at its underground car park in Hanau City Center. Why would you even bother with three spaces? It's, we've got three of them. We're good to go. You're all set. The wall behind the cars is painted in rainbow colors with bold lettering that says Valfalt Parkplatza or Diversity Spaces. So that's Vielfalt Parkplatza or Diversity Spaces. At the inauguration of the parking spaces, Thomas Moorcock, city councilor and chairman of the supervisory board of HPG, explained that the aim was to help people who feel a particular need for protection. Really? Why don't you do this for everybody who feels a particular need for protection? Why is it the need of migrants and alphabet people? I don't understand why they need particular protection and other people's don't. So tolerant. The sometimes homophobic and xenophobic reactions make it clear that the action was right and necessary, he said, according to the German newspaper Berliner Zeitung, which stands for Berlin Times, calling on my old German training. Yeah, uh, maybe don't allow people to come into your country. You don't have this problem right here. Yeah. You know, if I moved to Germany, I would be a, a foreigner, but I don't think, I don't think me going to Germany is going to cause anybody to become unhappy. I'm just going out on a limb there and, 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 and saying that. Now, what they're referring to, of course, is a bunch of people from, oh, I don't know, Africa, Central Asia, the Middle East, coming into their country and demanding things be the way that they are in their home countries, demanding that they abandon their Judeo-Christian heritage and adopt the new religion of Islam. I think that's really what's happening here. And these people, they just can't accept that they're the outsiders and they need to comply with the way things are in their new home. I would not expect to move to Germany and say, hey, you're going to adopt my religion. You're going to adopt my language. You're going to adopt my customs. That's ridiculous. Why would you think that? <sighs> it wasn't immediately clear how the authorities intended to monitor whether people who park in the spaces are actually a part of the alphabet community or migrants, though HPG said, a camera would monitor the car park. Yeah, you know what? I actually had a doctor's appointment today, this afternoon. And I'm sitting there in the doctor's office all alone. I'm like, oh, this place is like doing great business. But then after a few minutes, the door opens and this elder, well, an older gentleman walks in. And I was like, oh, there's some guy. And he walked over to the receptionist. And he said, oh, yeah, so my husband is here getting a procedure. And I was like, what, what, what? what? He's, he did not look gay to me at all when I saw him walk in. I don't have good gaydar, but uh, he did not appear to be anything other than straight. Uh, so how are you going to know who is part of the alphabet community just by looking at them? And you wouldn't be able to pick me out of a lineup probably as not German. Maybe you could. I mean, I have a German ancestors, so, but I also have Romanian ancestors, so that's a little bit different. I look a little bit different there. So maybe, maybe you'd be able to pick me out as not German, as the one who's not German, but I, you know, I look like a typical European person. The measure immediately met with strong criticism online as Germans questioned 
why such an initiative was needed. Yeah, I could imagine it would be. All white people are racist. Child and old age poverty, single mothers at their financial limit, pensioners who have to live on bottle deposits and leftovers from garbage cans. But for city councilor Thomas Morlock in Hanau, there is nothing more important than setting an example for tolerance, complained one Twitter user. Right. You know, you haven't solved these bigger, more important problems. You got to worry about a person having a special parking place because they want to fall in love in a way that is not typical. Yeah, okay. They want to go live in your country even though they want to change your country once they get there. Yeah, okay. Others were in favor of the idea in theory but suggested that diversity spaces would simply attract more threats than they prevented. Okay, the intention is good, but I wouldn't stand on it because you're asking someone to slit open the tires, warned one. The confusion prompted Moorcock to clarify that the diversity spaces are not necessarily intended for a separate group of people, but are free to be used by any driver who wants to take a position against hatred and exclusion. If I don't want people coming to my country who want to change my country to their way of being, that doesn't make me hateful. And it doesn't make me exclusionary to say, hey, look, you know, you can't come here because you're you're too different and you're going to demand that I change to accommodate you. That is, of course, exclusionary, strictly speaking, but it doesn't, it's not a bad way of being exclusionary. I would expect, expect the same if I were to say immigrate to China. In fact, I've heard stories of people immigrating to China where they're like, they interview anybody who wants to live in their country who's not Chinese and ask them a series of questions like, okay, you have to, you have to fit into our country. You have to want to get along here and be like us. But nobody complains about it when China does it. Oh, it, you're a, a white country founded by white people for white people, even on the continent of Europe where white people evolved. Oh, it's bad. You just, that, that you're here. This is just another attempt to erase whiteness. Another attempt to erase straightness. HPG wants to set a conspicuously colorful symbol for diversity and tolerance, he said. The parking spaces are not reserved. They are intended for everyone. Oh, that seems to be contradictory to what you were saying earlier. These people need to have this, like special treatment because they're, they're being targeted. Whatever. What do I know? Anyway, it's just more news from upside down world. We're going to move on to the weekly moment of woke. Okay, brace yourselves. This is a good one. Look, it's Brittany. And she's 34. Hi, Brittany. Brittany is a hamster lover because I need to know that in a dating profile. Currently, she has four kids with the fifth on the way, winning three different dads, really winning now. What the, oh. <laughs> Looking for true love and perhaps baby daddy number four. So in other words, six kids at minimum. Anything less than seven inches, swipe left. Sushi and peanuts really get me going. My favorite position is to be pile-drived. I don't even know what that means, and I don't think I want to know, Brittany. Wow. <laughs> Now, there are other YouTubers I've watched who do uh, who do dating profiles. I don't know where I got this one from. I think I just stumbled across it on the internet one day, and I was like, I'm going to save this. <laughs> I'm going to be able to use this. <laughs> Why is it woke? Why is it woke? Because, because Brittany is delusional. She's lost in this feminazi ideology that says, hey, you're beautiful no matter what. You're the prize no matter what. And I can bet you that anybody, any man who watches this is looking at this and going, I don't want any part of that. And if you are a man who wants a part of this, just think about the three different dads that might very well still be in her life. Not that she's doing anything with them, but you still you still got to contend with them coming over and getting their kids, with whether or not they're going to pay the child support, et cetera, et cetera. And she's looking for baby daddy number four. That's going to be you, potentially. And then guess what you're on the hook for for 18 years, minimum. And it doesn't matter if she stays with you or not. <sighs> And she says right here that she's looking for true love. She's looking for true love. Why are you looking for true love when you're actually looking to be pile-drived? You're talking about reproductive organ size, as if that has anything to do with true love, and favorite position, as if that it has anything to do with true love. Sure, physical intimacy is an important part of a loving relationship. Not going to deny that. But... You are starting out, the, you're leading with that. The, you really think that's the most important aspect of finding true love? Something is definitely wrong with Brittany. And I'm really scared for the hamsters in the world. 
Anyway, that's all I got for this time. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.